Well, the uh, constant wind and rain that we've been having since what feels like about October, <laughs> certainly all of November and December, finally has stopped and we have got a lovely day. Um, Bangor looks lovely in the sunshine, it's nice, it's quiet, and so I'm getting a few boat jobs done, just doing a few bits and bobs around the marina. There's boats moving around today, going in and out, which is nice to see. It's been the first time many people have been able to get their boats in or out, literally in months, certainly since before Christmas at any rate. So it's nice to see people going out and doing things. And I've also just seen over my shoulder some sort of special rowing boat thing. Don't know quite what's going on there, but <laughs> people are out and about, and that's the thing. People walking along the seawall, doing all sorts of things. We woke up this morning and there was ice on the pontoons and the salt is now out on them. The marine has given us a bucket of salt, put it by the boat so that we can salt our own finger pontoon. And uh, we're having to do that. But it was a bit of a shock when we uh, jumped off the boat and just sort of kept moving along like ice skaters. <laughs> it wasn't quite what we'd expected. So I thought we'd maybe just share a few views of Bangor in the sunshine because we don't get, get it all that often. absolutely no idea what we're going to be doing uh, for the next couple of months because we had thought about going into the Clyde or somewhere like that uh, but I've got to go away and because I've got to go away we'd be in marinas again so it, it was sort of like this kind of level on the money so we've just decided to stay here in uh, Bangor but the only thing I can say is uh, our cruising companions are going to be um, donated to the book club here uh, because if we are going to go back to Ireland, we're going to get new um, books. They're a bit out of date, those ones. They are. Um, and we, but... had, we had to annotate them ourselves. <laughs> we did annotate them. Um, but these ones are out of date and new ones. So if we do go back we'll get new books. Um, we've got some mail. Um, so thank you to the various people who've um, sent us mail here. But one of the people that have sent us mail is uh, Mr. D, because Mr. D, which is one of our only endorsed products, got rather battered. The um, catch here, we had to uh, make our own catch. Uh, but I'm pretty convinced that one of these is a new catch for Mr. D. So um, that's that. I've also been spending uh, some of our coffee money. I will be spending it. One of them is repairing this camera. So that's ways that we can hand back. So coffee money goes back to improving the videos. So I'm going to be make, hopefully repairing our camera, which is a bit worse for wear. And a new boat hook. I've been rather greedy. I bought two new boat hooks. We did lose two overboard. We lost two overboard, and um, but we've bought two slightly different designs. But you need a boat hook. And we just decided that we needed We to. really felt the lack, didn't we? <sighs> Absolutely. But it was it was hard going getting into marinas without well, them. Can we open the packages, please? Yes, of course you can. So, um, like I say, I'm pretty convinced these are Mr. D things. Yes, they're little catches. So I'll fix Mr. D up. Uh -huh. But these are from our subscribers. So thank you to all our people who support us. They're not really uh, mm -hmm. yeah. These are supporters. So this has come from supporters, so I'll see what this one is. And this... What on earth is that? I have no idea. It's a laser something. 
it's a socket i've got rather sock lots of sockets on it read the label at the front you dafty the front you dafty um it says stubby impact sockets oh it's for an impact driver that's because they're black you see yes so they're stubby impact sockets so we've got a whole load of impact sockets and who, who sent us that um you need to say the first name i'll get it it doesn't say not even noting it so we'll have to find out who's sent us that and then is sent by follower we'll pick up later <laughs> so this one doesn't have a, a name on it either maybe the marina wrote that on but yes they might have um i suspect this is the one that we got in just after we left yeah but as i say we're going to be in um banger it's really well wrapped if somebody like you can't get it open what's that then this is an impact driver extension bar set Ooh, lovely so they might have actually been together they might have been yes. because uh, these are both for our impact driver well we'll do some digging and thank you to whoever it was absolutely thank you to all our uh, supporters and um we love getting presents okay so we're finally back in manger and the boat is a bomb crater i mean the dumping ground which is the back cabin is just full of all sorts of stuff and um, we've got to tidy it up to be honest it's one of those jobs where it's hard to know where to start but i think it's one of those things that just make a start and it'll all sort itself out i've also got to get tonight's dinner ready while i'm at it so there's tons to do we've got no shortage of things but the objective is to put something like a lee cloth in there and put the stuff in behind it so that in there is at least tidy or tidier than it has been to date so that's one of our little jobs that we're going to do today so i think it's time to get stuck in and get started on that and i think since gainer keeps pushing me to do this we'll just let her starve i'll not bother cooking dinner in fact i'll just put the lid on it it's nice to put it's nice to put the lid on a problem isn't it Well, I've just played the boat game, which is uh, where you have to move everything into another space just so that you can do something and then I'll move it all back again afterwards. But um, if you ever live on a boat, you have to play the boat game and it is just literally move stuff from one place to another place, do the job and then you can put it back again. I'll be honest, it just looks like you've just put a duvet on it. Uh, there is a lot of other stuff in here like the sails and mullions and so if i sort of move the camera down a bit i'll get all sorts of things will i yeah there's just a lot of stuff an unexpected part of the boat game is having to dig for things that you've just buried with the things that you took out so you could dig for other things so Having had trouble getting into things in the back berth, we moved them out here and of course now that they're out here I've buried the things I want to get out to fix things in the back berth. So uh, the boat game continues with a slight recursive twist I hadn't expected. But say la vie, this is one of those things I think. There seem to be a battery short. I wonder did I leave it over at my mother's yesterday but you know the, uh, the green battery, I don't know where it is. Well we'll find it later. Yeah we're going to have to aren't we? Right, um, oh there's it down there. Now what I've got to do is find the drill bits. Any idea where we put those? No idea. Well, welcome the viewers to the back cabin. It's not often they get in there. No, it's not. But all we've done with the back cabin is uh, we've put two saddles up and I've just put a lee cloth um, between the two mattresses um, so that really I'm going to just convert this to into a single and then the other part of which is of the double we're just going to create into storage so all we're going to do is put get a whole load of ikea bags um put the stuff in the ikea bags and that will keep everything neat tidy 
and um, keep it just confined rather than just spreading all over the place. But also if we have uh, two guests that require a double, we can take the leaf cloth down. Yeah, and we'll just have to uh, put all the stuff that we have in here under the V-birth. Oh, the pearl V-birth. I know, but the thing is, this will just keep this neat and tidy and really that's a good place to start. Mm -hmm.